should be now live everywhere on YouTube. Appreciate everybody coming hanging out by the way today. Let me double make sure we got everything good to go. And we are now live. Thanks everybody for coming hanging out. We are building the world's most epic AR-10 and we are using the HM Defense platform to build this most awesome epic weapon. As you guys know, this is Cherry Wines AR-10. Um, we're going to do a couple quick modifications with this one, and then we are going to get started. Uh, Captain Obvious is on his way over, and he will be here in just a little bit. Let me uh, do a couple quick things here, guys. Kaboom! And we're back. I tell everybody in the comments, thanks to you guys for kind of coming and hanging out. Uh... We were in such a rush to get up to the range here last time with Cherry's AR over there at Max Torque's uh, farm. And I was looking for specific items and there was none available. So we just had to deal with some th certain things. And that right there is the one thing that we were having issues with. I do not like this um, bipod. So we went and got, by the way, guys, nothing here is sponsored or anything like this, guys. We're doing this totally on my own. Um, I went and picked up the Coldwell shooting supplies, bipod. We are going to add that. And then um, if you guys are looking for an awesome weapon like this, check out the link in the description below. Go to HM Defense website. Right in the middle of their webpage, it says dealers. Click on dealer and you can find a dealer near you. If they do not carry it, request one. Go through them and get it. Um, also, when you get your weapon, um, you get a 10 round magazine. This is a Magpul Gen 3. Um, I got the steel one from Captain Obvious and I like the steel ones better. Um, there's nothing wrong with these ones, but I like the steel. Then I ran into the same issue. Couldn't find the steel, had to be on special order. So I went and bought the Magpul 20 round uh, magazine, but I prefer the steel ones. Um, it's just preference. So, but I wanted to check and make sure now this is a 762 by 51 so everything is a go for the new one that we've got um, we're going to go ahead and take this one off guys and then we're going to get blazing on weapon 49 uh been really 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 happy with uh everything that we've been doing by the way guys i need everybody to do me a huge favor go to twitter and tweet out Roman Atwood. I want to do a 50 versus the 308 challenge. Um, Roman lives right up the road up here, about 15, 20 minutes from me. Um, so I've been, I just don't want to be rude and show up to the dude's house. Uh, that's just kind of disrespectful. But uh, I want to do a uh, 50 cal versus 308 against Roman Atwood. So if you guys would, tweet him out. Hey, Tyvin versus Roman, and uh, get it on. Now, I do like this one. This one has the uh, pivot part where you can turn it and adjust it and then just latch it. I like this one a little bit better. That's why I ended up going with this one. Okay, so that one's got two springs in it. Just want to see what all my options were here. I already lost some parts. And of course, I wasn't paying attention to uh, how this goes together. Done goofed up. But uh, we got our uh, other handguard from HM Defense. It's totally awesome, guys. I'll show it to you here in just a second. Um, I can't say enough about HM Defense. Those guys have went above and beyond 
what anybody would normally do for a guy, but that's just the way HM defense rules. They make sure that you are a satisfied customer. Um, hands down, they listen to what you got, listen to what your needs are, and I totally respect those guys. So let's get this one on. And let's get this bad boy screwed down. Uh, we're going to try to go out to uh, Briar Rabbit Firing Range tomorrow. So if that's something you guys are in the Ohio area, Briar Rabbit is in um, South Zanesville area. Let me see what we got going on here. Always getting a new piece of equipment. You got to finger it out. But anyhow, there we go. Right there. And these ones are adjustable as well. Um, really loving the... Uh, different stuff that we're doing here come on there we go so we can totally put it on bipod we can get it as high as we want um, if you guys are asking this is a nikon pro staff 7 i really really like it i'm not sure exactly what kind of scope that we're going to put on weapon 49 but uh i've reached out to a couple different uh manufacturers to see if they would like to be a part of this most awesome epic build. Uh, but for a, a weapon for a 308, guys, we we got the weapon, we zeroed it in, I shot around, and there was like nine people that had never shot this weapon before, and they jumped right on it, and boom, first shot, bullseye. Um, it speaks a lot for the weapon, so... But uh, let's get on to weapon 49. Now, you guys have seen that one. That's a tungsten color. Uh, shout out to Kool-Aid. Uh, all right. Moon Devil, make sure we got everything working here, guys, before we get into the, to the next one. All right, there we go. Uh, Zeta says, time to talk about Roman Atwood. Yes, sir. Uh, Yukon, what's up, brother? Guys, check out Yukon. Highlight his uh, name there in the comments. Subscribe to him. He's a fellow truck driver. We're going to be doing some truck driving stuff here real soon. So I've been talking to a lot of those guys, Little Dog and uh, Ike Stevens and Yukon there. So this right here is the handguard that came with the weapon. I used this one as a test vehicle to do my polishing um, to see what all I needed to do if I actually needed to cut the aluminum and then polish or can I just jump right in and polish. Uh, when they took it off the machine they put it in an agitator and they straight rolled it over and it took a lot of the uh, deep burrs and everything off of it so we're good to go. Here's the upper and there's my knob for my drill press. I was looking for that. By the way, welcome to my shop. Um, I've got to do some touch-up work on a couple of them. I actually went back in and looked at a few of them. As you can see, mirror finish. Um, I did do a lot of different style of like angles and everything, but I still missed a couple spots. So I've got this, and I've got my other little ball. But uh, this is totally awesome. As you can see, weapon 49 right there. And if you touch it, it will leave a fingerprint. Um, we're going to polish it down. And then we're going to use the same type of protective coating like you would see on mag rims. It's a clear coat style uh, coating. And that will help out a lot in what we're doing. I got this in the mail. So... Shout out to HM Defense. Once again, totally hooked me up. 
This is a specialty item. Oh, if I can get it out. Come on, there we go. So, let me get that off to the side. Here is the other handguard they gave me. As you guys can see, it is not polished. Um, they did put the two in the bottom here for uh, an accessory hand grip or whatever. And then they put the three up front right here. That way we can put a uh, bipod on there. But like I said, guys, they literally took it right off of the machine and did all their basic stuff that they have to have and the mounting screws and everything for it. But we're going to polish this up. Uh, if you look down in the links in the description below, there's a company called CNS Engraving. Um, after we get everything polished, they're going to go in and do a bunch of them engraving. By the way, guys, this is part three of this series. Um, this side right here will say the Tyvon Show. And then this side right here will have HM Defense. And then right here on the bottom, or on the bottom section, wherever the uh, H, uh, CNS Engraving wants to put their name, their name will be on it as well. And then it's going to have uh, the little swirly marks like you'd see in your grandpa's double barrel shotgun. You can do nativity scenes and flowers and do all kinds of snake skins. Um, what we're doing is we are mixing the new technology and the laser etching, um, which has been a thing for thousands of years. Guys have always uh, decorated their weapons. Now, I have, like you see Cherry Wine's weapon there. Um, it's the tungsten color. My other ARs are the black. And then um, I've got a couple like my old 3030. It's the wood with the bluing and everything. But I wanted a polished one. It, and it's not a trailer queen. This weapon will be shot, will be used. This is not something like you stick in the gun cabinet and go, ooh, ah, oh, ah, you know, look at. It's not about that. It's not about that at all. Um, I wanted a weapon that's mine. That will always be mine. I'll never sell it. Um, like you guys, you know, I work hard for my money. And I want it to be personalized, but I want it to be personalized like no other weapon. Um, it'll have the Tyvon Show on it. It'll have my uh, real name on it. And then everything. So I've just... It's something that I wanted and nobody's ever else has done it. So it's kind of cool. Captain Obvious will be here in a little bit, but uh, I am going to put um, a couple holes in here and a couple holes up here. A lot of you guys will see um, companies that will make this lighter or carbon fiber or whatever. They're defeating the purpose of the handguard. With your chamber and when you're shooting your rounds, the heat. It's about heat disbursement. Um, you should always have a material that will allow and draw heat through it. Yes, by not having a bunch of holes in it, um, like the other handguard that we have, that will aerate and let the heat ex uh, expand. Um, I think it, you know, it looks cool, but I am cutting and only going to put a few holes in this one. It's more for purpose and ventilation to make sure that the, the air will go through and heat and expand out. But you have to have a couple holes in it. Um, but be very careful when you're going and you're buying that wire mesh hand guards or some of the carbon fiber hand guards and stuff. You're actually keeping more heat in your uh, breech and down your barrel because it's not a lot. The material sucks the heat away from the area. So that's the whole premise behind that. Um, I need to get my tools out. Sorry guys, I'm not like really, really prepared for my video live stream today, but I wanted to come with you guys. Let me go get my tools real quick. I think I left my gauge over in 
my uh, marking tool over in the house. So, but we're going to mark it out. I'm not sure exactly how many holes we're going to put in there. What's up, Chris Upton? How you doing, guys? I'm cheating. I've got my tablet right here also so I can read the comments. Uh, Robert, what's up? How you doing? Appreciate you coming out. By the way, guys, I appreciate you being uh, hit that share button. Retweet me out. I would deeply appreciate it. I am going to bring her weapon over here. That way I can get some measurements on this to see how far back from the uh, breach that I'm going to need to do to mark it. That way I can get some basic measurements. But we will be live tonight, guys, for GTA 5. Alright, so we're looking at three and a quarter inch at the most. Alright, so that would be three and a quarter. It's nice to actually have another weapon. See now it doesn't it doesn't pivot. That was the problem we were having with the other one. Man, it was just a pain in the butt. Let me get, do I have a black magic marker? I'll just use this scribe. I'm gonna make sure I don't get too far down in there. And then we're gonna go three and a quarter off of this side. I tell you man, it is really nice to have your own shop it's just gorgeous to have you have your own shop all right let's see where their first hole was at was at two two and five sixteenths off of the top uh, one two one two three I want to be careful. I don't want to dig down into the metal too much, but as long as I can get my marks, I will be good to go. Now up towards the end of the barrel, it's not going to be too much of a problem. And we'll find center. All right, there we go. And how deep are we right here? See, they put those right off of the side. So we are 10. This is 5 eighths. So that's 5 eighths to the center. Give me one second. Ooh, maybe it's 11. Oh, I didn't mark it from that point. So let's use that point to that point. It is 11. We'll go by five. It'd be easier. So one, two, three. I got my little scribe, scribe tool here. But I tell you, man, it is nice having your own shit. All right, so we're going to put a couple holes in. Like I said, uh, Captain Obvious will be here in just a little bit. And 
And then we're gonna go five eight. Mark it that way. But, uh, I used to build, used to build race cars and motors and all kind of crazy stuff. Now it's just working on guns. By the way, guys, Fourth of July is coming. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. Go over to USA Chemical Supply for binary X and get 20% off your item. And if you guys make a video, make sure you put at the time and show and tweet me out your video or go over to my Facebook. It's Tyvan YT. Links are all down in there. Post a link. I want to see what you guys are doing. We went over there to Max's house and we destroyed that truck. But we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun doing it. It was awesome. All right, let me mark it up here. And then uh, I forgot to stop over to the uh, truck stop to get uh, a new polishing wheel. So, I kind of struggled on that one. One second here. I got to make sure my math's right. By the way, HM Defense also has a sale on their uppers for 556. So if that is something you guys need, like a new upper, um, I think I think it comes with charging handle and bolt. I will have to go and look, but I am not sure. I will have to go and check, but I think it comes with a charging handle and bolt. All right, we're just going to put a couple right there on that one. And that was to be a quarter. Two right there. And two right there. And we're going to mark it right there. Math and measurement is a key. I saw Donald Trump pass something or sign some legislation about uh, schooling and stuff. They actually took shot class, small engines, woodworking, and all that stuff out of my high school. And now if you want to do something like that, you actually have to go to a trade school to get any of that done, and they just don't teach that stuff in school anymore. Oh, shout out to the Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. Let me see what we got going on here, guys. Just want to make sure. Mega Stucky, what's up, Vash? How you doing, brother? Micro Jeeper, Jupiter. Says his stream's a little laggy. Boosted, retire on, what's up? Um... It should be good. I was able to, uh, I had to do it in 480. I'm out here to my shop and I'm not able to do a full um, signal. So I had to go down to the 480. Let me do it this way. I am going to put a few holes in Oh, I should have done that one. I didn't mark. I was off by a sixteenth. 
There we go. All right. Now, I will have to change bits because some of these holes are going to be too, too big for that. But I want a big hole in the top. All right, let me see what we've got going on here. Uh, I think it's this one. Let me see what we've got going on here. Right, about the right size. But I want bigger ones in the top. All right, so we're going to poke three holes on the top and then we're going to go three holes down here and then three there three there and then we're going to run um maybe two we'll we'll cross them over and see how that works on this side right here. The captain's ob uh, obvious daughter is having a baby shower today and Cherry Wine went over for the baby shower. Oh. Uh oh. I might not be able to use a piece of wood. tight. As long as I'm steady, I'll be good to go. I got wood on the bottom, so yeah, we'll be fine. We're going to polish it out anyhow, so Let's see what we got going on here. Captain Obvious gets over here. We're also going to make a couple targets. We're going to make some targets for the range. I don't want to apply too much pressure. Oh. I don't want to apply too much pressure. But, uh, we're going to make some targets. So we can go down to the range. Woo! Yeah, baby. scientific and everything but hey if you do it your, yourself nobody can say anything
Look at that. By the way, guys, uh, all of HM Defense's weapons are made with American steel, cut and produced in America, built in America by Americans. You just can't beat it. I can't speak any more highly of these guys down there. They literally got their um, stuff together down there. They know what they're doing. But they definitely hooked me up. Alright, let me get my measurements here. And then once we get this done, we're going to go in and we're going to polish these bad boys. This way we're dead center on everything. There we go. Uh, I just love guns. I was a weapons specialist in the military. And then I got away from weapons there for a while. And then I started watching like uh, Matt from Demolition Ranch. And watching a lot of the other guys. And I just, I love them. And I had to get back into it. Uh, we're gonna have to go this side. I got my board too close. But I had to get back into weapons. It's a love, it's a passion. I grew up with guns, which I should say weapons. But I just love them. I'm really hoping with this 308 that I can get into like the long term. Uh, long distance long distance shooting I really want to get back into it I have joined a couple of the Facebook pages you guys search them up um, on Facebook, it's one of them's called uh, Ohio Precision Rifles. The other one is called Long Range. Right? Uh, I think it's called Long Range Shooting. Uh, I think the Long Range one is uh, a nationwide page. Uh, really good groups to join. Chuck's tight. Uh, there's a bunch of groups on Facebook that you can join and get involved in your local gun ranges. Uh, really nice guys in a lot of those groups. Burgers off here. I can't wait for the 4th of July. If any of you guys are in the Ohio area, uh, Red, White, and Boom is up in Columbus, Ohio. It's an awesome thing to go to. Let me show you what we got going on here so far. We got two right there on the top and two right there. 
I'm going to put probably three, I think, on the bottom. And then uh, I'll put three across the bottom right here. And then, like I said, all the names and everything is going to be going right across there. I just want to make sure that I've got a little bit of ventilation with them. Since they did the two holes in the back here with the two, I think I'm going to run three across the top as well. Oh, Kool-Aid time. But uh, Jay the Muffler Man setting up his uh, range out there to the house. house. Uh, smoothie says big time lag. Oop, made in the USA. Um, let me check out and see what we got here. Well, it looks like it's pretty good here. But yes, 100% made in the USA. USA materials. Um, small business, USA. All right, so let me mark my other ones here. Um, where to do my scribe? Let me see what we're going to do. I want to run three across the top. And then, let me measure here. I don't want to scratch the material too much. Because like I said, we are going to polish it. So I don't want to go deep, deep with the scratches. Man, it is hard to see. All right, I'll go to the other side. Oh, I guess I already marked that side, okay. So let's go with let's go with how far down does this first hole start? Quarter inch. So let's do one at a quarter. How wide's that bit? That's a half inch bit. So if we go a half inch, where are we at? Here we go. So that's a half inch bit. So there. It's a three quarter. Okay. So we got three quarter, one and a half, and two and a quarter. So we got one and a quarter, one and a half, and two and a quarter. All right, that'll give us our three across the top. Let's go ahead and cut those, and then we will start on the bottom one. Captain Obvious should have already been here, but you guys don't know, um, Captain got weapon 51, and Jerry the Muffler Man got weapon 52 I know this is not like perfect and you're supposed to be measuring but I am getting it right down on on the tip from my scribe mark Yeah, 
careful. I don't want to scratch any more of the material. That way I don't have to buff it out or polish it out. See what we got going on here. But we are going to go to the range tomorrow if you are in the Ohio area. I think I already said it once. But uh, uh, we will be at Briar Rabbit Fire Range tomorrow, tomorrow morning. They open up at 9 o'clock or you go live at 9. because this definitely has a lot of material taken off of it with all the key mods and everything on there but it will weigh a little bit more but that's all right we're still going to have fun this is definitely not going to be a trailer queen let me try to Kick a little bit of the burrs off here. Hope everybody's having a glorious day today. I'll take some sandpaper. Kind of take down some of the edges oh man I've waited all my life to build a custom weapon like this to be able to enjoy it we're going to have to go across the top here on this one let's see what we got here By the way, I went and I changed all my lights in my shop over to LED lights. Huge difference. Huge difference. LED lights make so much of a, a better visual. You don't have that pulsating lights regular tube lights it's more of a white light LED lights make a huge difference. Uh, but make sure if you're painting cars, uh, if you have a K5000 bulb, 
which is a, a more uh, lumens. Um, if you're painting underneath of like a 5,000 bulb, you will actually see distortions in the paint. So be aware of that. Check. We're looking square. We're dead center. chance to watch the weather so I don't know um, how much rain everybody got down south there in the Louisiana area so I hope nobody got flooded out definitely helps out a lot especially if you want to learn how to do stuff welding torches uh, materials I mean go to school for it. I mean you can take a local welding class find a local welder that's certified that can teach and you know for a little bit of money you can go and get classes to do it and you know it's a trait I mean if you know how to weld you can go to like a muffler shop and learn how to and do like exhaust work fixing things I mean once you get that reputation that people know know that you know how to weld I mean, they'll come to you, hey, can you fix this lawnmower? Can you weld this deck back up? Can you, know, any of that kind of stuff. And you can make some money on the side. I'll take a little bit of the sandpaper. I'm just taking the big burrs off right now. All right, I'll show you what I got so far. We got three right across the top. Three right there. Oop. There we go. And then we got the two there. And then the two there. So you've got, that's what we've got so far. And then we're going to put a couple right down through here in the bottom on both sides. And then we're going to have this whole section for engraving and do all kind of crazy neat things. What's up, dude, Nader? How you doing, sir? Raining uh, here in South Carolina. Been raining pretty well. Oh yeah, Snoopy. 
Please may re please remake your video the one has skipped every other word and more can you tell what you're saying. Do Nate are you having problems as well, sir? Or is he just trolling me? Uh, MJ says too much lag. Well, let me see if I can um, just a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Um, beer rate 24. All right, well, let's go to 1200. Okay, there we go. You know what? I'll turn that off in the background. Hopefully that'll help you guys out a little bit. And then I can watch the comments over here and see what's going on. There we go. Reds, what's up, brother? How you doing? Mr. Doverfield, anytime I got ghost gun. I got a ghost gun I can kill with the next three hundred people per se. Well, hey, there's Pitbull. What's up, brother? How you doing, sir? We're doing our uh, polishing here, Pitbull. Right now, we're just going to cut some a uh, couple more holes here. We'll kind of cut a little bit down here. I thought about putting them, um, putting them on here because you got the two. Uh, or we got three. We got the three up at the beginning, and I thought about putting smaller and just kind of stagger them, and then put four smaller ones, like on the bottom. But I'm not sure yet. Let me look to see what we got. And how much room we got? Oh man, I could go four. And then staggered it. I should have went four on the top, three on the bottom. And then put three up here. Well, it's down at the bottom, so it's not really going to... You know what? I think I will. I'll put four on the bottom because heat rises. So I'll put four on the bottom, and then that will give me more heat up through for ventilation. I've already got my scrub lines on there, but we do need to mark them. Make sure you guys check out Pitbull YT. He's a good friend. He's over in Norway. He's a Viking. Cool, it done. But uh, he does a lot of online gaming and stuff. Pretty cool guy. Very respectable. Ah, gotta love the Kool Aid. There you go, Pitbull. I'll show you real quick, dude. I'll give you an update, brother, of what we're doing here. I already got the uh, upper and the lower done, um, but I do need to go over it. I missed a couple spots, like right in through here, that didn't get polished. And then there's a couple little lines up through here that I need to redo. And then I've got to get the small uh, polishing wheel to go in through here to get into the cracks and the crevices. So, but there's what there's what we got, Pitbull, for the original one. But like I said, we're working on the other handguard. This is the original one for Weapon 49. This is an extra one, but this is the one that's going to have all the engraving in it. This is the one that's going to say 49 of 50. This is the one that's you know going to be hung on the weapon. I am going to go through and black some of the stuff out. I think I will go for on that. Um, by the way, guys, this is a 18 and above, uh, 18 and above website or live stream today. So you may agree, you may disagree, but I do smoke. So. You'll have to get over it. Pitbull, uh, Pitbull, uh, chews on his. So I think I'm all right. All right, let me 
go my line draw here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mark them. Okay, so by that would be center. Because you guys was asking, Cherry Wine is over to Captain Obvious's daughter's house. I've got like 12 god kid, godsons and goddaughters. Um, she is over and she's expected here for her very first young one. So Cherry's over there spending some time with her. I don't know if I want to do it that way or not. Three lines. That was a center, that was a center, that was a center. So that would be one hole, two holes, three holes. Four holes, see that's too close. So that'd be one. Put it on the outside, and then that would be the outside. So it would be off center there, off center there. I didn't want to use a black magic marker because once that ink gets down into the material, you got to cut it even more to get it to get the ink out. That's why I didn't use the black black markers or a staining marker or anything like that. And if I put one right there, I want four on the bottom. So that would be center. Put one there, put one there. Oh! Don't know who that is, so we're going to ignore that. Alright. Got to be precise. By the way, there's a program called uh, Zuella or Zuella, Z E L L O, on your Androids, and what it is, it's a two-way communication. Go on there and look for one called uh, look for one called uh, these trucking YouTubers, T H E E S E, trucking YouTubers. Um, I get on there through the week, and uh, I do the two-way. That way you can talk to me as well. All right. Let me get over here where the light's at. I need to make sure I do this right. Measure six times, only cut once. Not only that, that's bigger, so we're going to have to go with the smaller drill bit. So that would be one. So I'm going to go one, one in the center, one in the center. There we go. One, 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 one. I'm going to do that. That way it looks better. So we're going to have one there. One off the center of that. And then we'll go 
off to that one. So we're definitely going to do this one. Alright, and then we're definitely going to do this one. Alright, so that's one, two. And then one right off the center of that. So if I mark it that way, I can get into it. And then we'll just split it. So, and then we'll run one right down the middle. So this one right here is definitely going to get one. Well, we got halves. That is a half inch. And then let's mark it down here, half. And then we'll scribe it. So we'll have one there, one there, one there, and one there. And then that will be a center. And that will be a center. There we go. Now we've got her under control. We'll put four on the bottom. That give it a little bit of ergonomics. And having four on the bottom, you'll have more holes for heat to rise through. Snug as a bug in a rug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Now I am going to be off centered here a little bit because that is uh, not on a flat surface. Oh, I didn't. You know what? Let's see how that works. We're going to flat that way and see if we can't get uh, down on it. Here. Back her off some here. Okay, I learned a lot growing up on the farm and being kind of resourceful in your tools and what you're doing. It would definitely help you out. Let's get her close here. Why is this? Why is my drill press not level? Oh, that's unusual. Am I stuck on something? Is it sitting on something? Why is my drill press not level? I thought my drill press was... Uh, a little bit more uh, stationary there. Well, we'll fix that. There we go. So let's keep our wood up tight. Make sure we're flat and flush. There we go. In like Flynn. Make sure my holes line up. Check, check, check. Measure, measure, measure. Alright, we're centered. There we go. A little bit of a turn to it. Draw 
going straight. Let's snug her up. On it. If you guys uh done anything special with your weapon, post a picture of it on Twitter and tag me. I'd be interested to see what all you guys have done with your weapons. Everybody likes to do a little bit of personalization to their weapons. There we go. But I tell you what, the kind of work that we had done um, on my 9mm Beretta so a big shout out to 3D Machine for putting the Tyvon Show on that as well. Uh, they really hooked us up with that. And I just love how it turned out. I mean, it was perfect. I couldn't ask for a better deal on that. I mean, these guys down at 3D Machine, I mean, they're just like HM Defense. They take pride in what they're doing. They love, they love what they do. They're good at what they do. I can't believe Captain Obvious ain't here yet. Usually when it comes to guns, man, he's there. Got a little bit of a burr. And we are centered. Get a little snug. Check again. Straight. Alright, here we go. section oh, too tight I can't wait to get this done it's gonna be so awesome Let me bring it over a little bit more to be true Check. All right. We're looking square. Nope. Nope. Still off. Man, I just messed it all up. All right. Get a little snug on there. Oh, that hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that hurt. That aluminum is sharp.
Check the comments out real quick. What's up, Airspeed? How you doing, brother? People! Hey, Nico's in the comments. What's up, Nico? Make sure you guys check out Nico. Also, awesome, epic uh, uh, Call of Duty player. By the way, Nico, when I was talking to you about this stuff, dude, and uh, trying to go in to get a hold of, you know who I'm talking about? This is what we're doing, Nico. Right here, brother. This is an AR-10 by HM Defense. This is weapon 50. I'm working on 51, Nico, or uh, weapon 49. As you guys can see right there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Weapon 50. But anyhow, Nico, this is what I was trying to get a hold of you, brother. But make sure you guys check out Nico Pitbull. Airspeed is now back up and running. He has his internet service back up. Awesome stuff. But, uh, I don't know if they're willing to do anything now, Nico. Um, I'd have to check because they've already launched the weapon. But if you or him um, are interested in doing something, I'm just the middleman, the contact point for all of that. So if you could pass him a message to see if it's still something he would be interested in doing. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Let's get our subscribing tools. Let's go back over and let's mark the other side so we're straight across. And everything is uniform. Kool-Aid time! By the way, I make my Kool-Aid. I think I make the best, world's best Kool-Aid. I use two packs of black cherry. One like the little teacups. I use one of those level with the top of sugar and then I'll use a half of sugar. That's all the sugar you need. It's all about flavor. But use two packs of Kool-Aid mix, a teacup and a half of sugar, stir vigorously, extreme chill, and or like Arctic frigid cold, which is what I like it. Um, that is the best way to make Kool-Aid. But I made a pot this morning, and I love it. All right, let me get my lines over here. I don't want to scratch too deep. Because I'll have to polish it out. We're just scrubbing the lines right on there. I'm going to go ahead and mark them all here. I don't have to run all the way down through. But I want them to be uniformed. But, uh, Nico, you got my phone number, sir. Call me, let me know. Whoops. Oh, one last line. Forgot. All 
Alrighty. Let's mark here half inch. Let's mark right here. Right on the quarter mark. Let's put her line right there. Oh, my grandson's here. Hey, you want to bring him down so everybody can see him? Say hi. Come on down, say hi everybody on YouTube. My grandson's here, guys. I'm waiting. I need about three more years so I can actually put something like this in his hands. Uh, come on, buddy. Come say hi to everybody. He's a cute little kid. Uh, come here and say hi. You can wave and say hi to everybody on the internet. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Huh? Come here, be careful. Go. See? Now you'll be able to see yourself right there. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Wow. Say hi, everybody on YouTube. Hi. 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 It's my little buddy right here. Huh? All right. You can go back to mom. Hey, thanks for mom and dad. TV. Yay. Be careful. You guys leaving? Uh, we'll be back here a little bit. Okay. Get out of the house for a bit. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, could you do me a favor? Yeah. There's uh, a 10 in my center console. Can you get me two packs? Yeah. You'd be so kind. Yeah. yeah. I think there's 10 or $11 in the center console. Just grab it, please. He is such a cutie, guys. What's up, first speed? Oh, no, Mia's in here. Honey. What's up, Mia? Tree hugger. Uh, Micro Jupiter, I hope uh, EV1 is having a great day. What's up, bro? How y'all doing? Thanks, everybody, for coming hanging out, guys. By the way, this is 18 and plus, and yes, I do smoke. I don't do it during the GTA 5 uh, live streams because we do have a bunch of little ones that watch, um, and I don't want to promote that, so that way they don't see it. All right, let me find my centers here. And then we'll get this one drilled. Alright. That's the center. That's the center. And that's the center. There we go. Is right in the light so I can see it. Alright, here we go. And I haven't seen Minion on, so I don't know if Minion's gonna be streaming tonight or not. I gotta get a hold of Max. And see if Max is interested in uh, streaming tonight. I haven't done any of the uh, gun running DLCs. I saw Hike playing a couple of them yesterday. Um, I saw Hike playing a couple of the gun running DLCs yesterday, and it looked like a lot of fun. He had that great big, like, uh, oh, I'm trying to think what the name of that suit is. Juggernaut suit. And man, they looked like they was just going around and just terrorizing. I might have to go with a different block here. Side or not to get in. Come on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. To make sure we're centered straight. This will get us right into to the section. You know what? I'm going to push that out a little bit. back one to 
table. I saw uh, there's a guy that I also watch with Yukon. You guys have seen him in the comments. There's another guy that I've uh, been talking to. It's good by Little Dog on YouTube. He's a truck driver. And he went and got part of his uh, trailer polished someplace. I didn't catch where it was at. You guys just heard Bandit Bow Wow and a little snot. But he went and got his trailer polished. I mean, polishing's not cheap, especially if you go to like a truck stop. If you're a truck driver and you want to get your tanks and wheels polished. You know, it could be anywhere between a hundred and and twelve hundred dollars, depending on what that guy charges. But polishing is not cheap. That's why I'm doing this all myself and not taking it somewhere. Well, that and I can do it. I know how to do it. But not straight. I'm still off. Especially with all the engraving and having it polished. It is awesome. Still a little off. There we go. mess up before I get into the polishing get all the furs off that's a brand new bit all right let's see what we got where we're at oh yeah we're off Centered. Yep, there we go. Snug it down a little the last time. Double check. Alright, here we go. Alright. Looking awesome. hole to drill on this one on this side that looks about right sometimes when you snug them down your material will move on you you got to make sure that it's straight Alright, 
show you what we got so far, guys. Clean it up a little bit. I'm going to inlay all the center holes here with black or blue. I'm not quite sure yet. Take the rough edges off. Roll the edges out. There we go. All right, I'll show you guys real quick. Got the three across the top right here, and then got the four, so that way it'll uh, you'll have more room for air to flow through here to come up through for the heat. So we've got the th the four holes here, and then the four. So we've got the two here in the back here, and then the two over here. I'm going to run a couple holes right through here as well for some more ventilation. And then once I get those holes done, I can get in to start polishing. So I gotta try to get a hold of uh, I gotta get a hold of CNS engraving there, and go up to their shop next weekend and drop this off. I don't know how long it's gonna take these guys to do it. Go lay time. Hashtag Kool-Aid. Um, let me see if I got a different bit here. I'm not too happy with this bit. It's only been used once before, but I'm just not happy with it. We'll run this one. This is only 10,000 smaller. It's not really going to make that much of a difference on the size. And this is a brand new bit here. So I know it's going to cut really nice and clean. So let's go over. Take comments real quick. Micro Drooper, nice talking. Oh, thanks, sir. I'm Mega Stuggy. Airspeed Gaming! Hey Airspeed, or, uh, look on there and see if Max is online. If he is, same a message. Oh wow, they got back fast. Alright, do I want to run the four holes like we did on those? Or should I run the three? I think I'm going to run the three. My son just pulling up. Did you hook me up? Oh, thanks, man. Do you have enough? No, I just like don't. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got out of the center. Sorry. Hey, tell your mom she owes you a dollar. Pa I'll yeah, pass. Ever... I'll pass the buck like the dressers, man. You guys, you guys don't ever owe me nothing. Oh, hey, I told you she would say that about the dressers. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, Bob. Be careful. Be safe. Let's see what we got here. Should we go with three? I think we're going to keep it uniform. And we'll put one straight down center off of that one. We'll go center here and then center there. I'm just eyeballing here. And then let's go to the back side. Oh. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then 
right there. So we'll have them offset. So we want a half inch. So that would be a quarter center. And then that's a quarter center. And this one is a quarter center. There we go. Alright. So let's go as well. And then center. Center. Alright, let's clean our lines up here. That should be evenly marked. All right, this way I'm doing the same. They'll be the same on both sides. That way it'll be uniform. There's a quarter. There's a quarter. And there's a quarter. There we go. All right, so we'll put three on this one. So we'll have three up on the top here with the four because they're uh, unilateral. So since we're going to do two here, I'll put three here. And we'll rock that. Uh, oops, excuse me. Almost gotta have three hands. Oh wow. That gets a little closer to the material. That bit was that much longer. Ain't straight. Now we're gonna start all that over again. It's a beautiful day here in Ohio. You guys missed that video I posted last night. I was in uh, Xenia, Ohio, and it was clear back behind me, no clouds, no nothing, but you could see the storm front in front of me. When I got over into Dayton, Ohio, I was just underneath the top of the storm. And then as I went down, got on third, State Route 35 and went east to go over to my main yard, everything turned purple. I'd never seen anything like that before. I've seen the skies or evenings, night sky, whatever, turn some red, some oranges and stuff. But everything was purple. And I took a quick video of it and posted it. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go check that out. I mean, literally everything was purple. The roads were purple. The sky was purple. It was beautiful. Snug it down, here we go. We're on it now. Well, that one was a little off. I got it down into the neck on that one. Well, that was definitely a boo boo. That was a boo boo. I think the material moved on me.
Sir Bannock going, ape dog. Let's see what we got here. Precise. This is a hillbilly style. chips right now. guys been doing any fishing yet this year I've been hearing some guys getting some like record uh, size like catfish bass and it's like everything I've heard this is supposed to be like an epic year for fishing everybody's catching the big bad boys this year guys can hear Bandit over there in the background. Let's slide this one down here. I think my one my one piece is going to be in the way. So we'll go with just one. Should have cut them smaller. We'll have to run this one over here. It's shorter. If you guys ever decide to do something like this, I mean, the pride of building your own weapon and doing something like this, when you go to the range, you know. It's mine. Nobody else has got one like it. It's definitely got uh, some benefits. Come on. Wow, that's like almost out of my almost out of my reach here. What am I doing? Oh, I've got my cord in the way. No wonder. I can bring it out a little bit more here. Can't believe Captain's not here. All right. Let's steer it this way now. Man, I have a little bit of issues on this one today. And I 
messed my lines up. There it is. I got my drill bit so close to the material. I'm moving it around. And it's scarred the material, so I don't know exactly where my marks at. There's Jupiter says, I love fishing for largemouth bass. Me too, but I always end up catching a catfish. Don't understand why, dude. I think I'm going to order Pizza Hut. Oh, man, that sounds good, dude. Do near speed mega stilky. All right, let me clean it up here a little bit. Let's take some a little bit of the burrs off here. That way it won't eat away at my... Buffing pad. Then uh, inside the holes, I'm going to paint them black. It's going to be awesome. Knock some of these big birds off. Say, if you really want to have an interesting career working with metal, if you're polishing or a welder or fabricate, fabricator or uh, anything like that, working with material is awesome. All right, guys. There we go.
We got the three there. The two up at the top. And then the three there. Awesome. All right. Let me get my uh, air cannon out over here. Get rid of some of this uh, aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Just gonna make sure I'm getting aluminum in my Kool Aid. Ah. All righty. Tell you also, having a compressor. Huge difference. Huge difference. She got metal flakes off. Pressure is one of the one I think is one of the most valuable things you can have in a shop. You always use uh, compressed air and tools to fix stuff. Uh, when I started out as a mechanic, I had all hand tools, and then as as I was making money, I ended up switching everything over to air tools. And oh my god, man, it makes a huge difference when you're working on stuff. Air tools, man, it's just beep, 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 and you're done, man. Just done. Alright. I am going to start on these two here because i got a couple spots that I've got to go. And get my endless supply of rags! Um... Uh, Air tool is just so much better, man. Makes things work out so well. But I got two more tubs. By the way, guys, it's not um, a sponsor or anything. But I am using Mother's uh, Mag and Aluminum Polish. This is the same stuff that you would use um, on your rims for your car. If you're a pimp, you know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, you know what? You guys have been watching me work on this. I think I'll do this one first. Let me go and get my small file. Get my small file out here. I'll do a little dressing up on it. I'll do a little dressing here. Take some of the burrs off here. Gotta be careful, I don't want to take too much. Because if you scratch it really bad, it takes more time to buff out the marks and the mess ups than it is to start all over. So we gotta be careful. Take off the high spots. I don't want to scratch it up too much. It's just more work. Just smooth it down a little bit.
actually turned out quite well. All right. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, I had to get my Kool-Aid. All righty. Now, if you guys can see, I'll do. A, I'll show you what. This is the original one. How it came out, really nice and shiny. And then here is the before. That way, you guys can see what we're gonna be looking like when we're done. This thing's just gonna be so much epic. Now, since this doesn't have any hole, as many holes in it, I mean, there's a, a huge difference in the weight of it. I mean, it's, it's noticeable. Oh, they got a chuck mark right there. It's actually a pretty deep mark. I guess they're clamp that they use when they uh, take it off of the machine. Can't believe Captain's not here yet. But I do have a bunch of uh, gunpowder and primers. Where's the primers? The Winchester primers. And then uh, we've got to do some reloading. I got some uh, bullets right here from Hornaday. 22 cal, five, uh, 55 grain. I've got a bunch of stuff that we've got to go and do some reloading and everything. Put these over here. So we're gonna have a video on reloading. I follow a guy on YouTube. His uh, channel is called Johnny's Reloading Bench. He's an awesome guy. And he does a lot of reloading and everything. Oops, I moved the camera, so sorry. Um, I watch a lot of his stuff. He does a lot of the reloading. I'm gonna bring you guys over here a little bit. There we go. He does a lot of different kind of calipers and everything of different um, calipers, different rounds, different guns. He's got all kind of different um, methods that he uses and tools that he uses. Very interesting if you guys ever wanted to get in to uh, reloading. He... Uh, Gotta be careful. I don't want to scratch too much. But uh, it's called Johnny's Reloading Bench. Very interesting. If that's something you guys are into. And then there's another guy that I watch as well. It's um, El um, Elvis Ammo on YouTube as well. He does a lot of the powder coating bullets. Very neat, very interesting. If that's something you guys want to get into and watch and learn how to do it. Um, I've learned a lot. I haven't seen any I haven't seen any of them do um, 12 gauge yet. It's mostly 308, 556, uh, 7.62 by 39 all the way up by uh, uh, 51. On the 308s. This is where we're going to get dirty. I like to put my material on first and kind of let it soak in into the pores of the material. That way, when you're working it, um, it's already into the material. And don't be stingy with your polish. I mean, put it on there. It will help. I didn't think I was going to have enough last week when I was doing the other one. The the uh, upper and the lower. 
I thought I was going to run out. But you can see that it's already turning gray and it's not white. That means it's working. It's already soaking into the material. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Micro Jupiter says, see you tonight, Tyvin. All right, sir. Rig Dog, Tyvin, do you still play GTA 5V with Hike? Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I played with Hike. Um, we were going to try to do um, something every Saturday at 3 o'clock. But, man, our schedules are just so ass backwards, man. bit over here in this sections over here our schedules man are just oddball man i've been wanting to play with snake fist explosion for a while but i mean they're basically on pc which i'm sorry um but man it's just everybody's schedules vidcon i think's going on this week i don't know if drifter went to vidcon or not i don't think he did um, but I know uh, Boogie2988 went, and then that couple of the other guys that I watch are all at VidCon. And I'll show you guys real quick. As you can see, it's already starting to turn gray, where it's soaking into the material. That's my secret, is like a pre-soak. And then kind of just rub it in, let it get into that material. Um, it will dry out on you, but just kind of keep it up, keep it lubed. That didn't sound right. Keep it up, keep it lubed, sorry. Um, oh, I forgot to plug it in. Fail. And we're gonna unplug the drill press. There we go. Oh yeah, let me, uh, you know what? I'm about out of this tub. I'm gonna go ahead and open up another one. And I forgot to stop at the truck stop and buy a bigger wheel. It's totally my fault. So, let me, uh, Get this up and out of here because I'm gonna have to open up another tub. I don't want to have to do it mid mid polish. And of course, this is what it looks like when you get it. It's all like a white polish. You guys want to learn how to polish also? You can YouTube it. There's a lot of videos out there uh, on polishing. And I use a soapstone, or not soapstone, a polishing uh, compound as well with the polish. It does help. And then work a section or a line or work a group. Don't like here, 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 here. You'll miss spots. Try to always work with a section. It will turn black. I'll show you what it is like after you do like a couple little sections. It will turn black. Uh, it's digging through the material. But it's just part of it. I mean, it's a wheel. You can touch it. It's not going to hurt. It's a 100% um, cotton wheel. See, after I preloaded it, I'm working my way up it and it's getting 
new material, new polish with it as I buff it. That way you're not constantly uh, loading it up. It's gonna be so beautiful. Now as you do that, the compound will dry a little bit, you know, keep it because of the wind of the wheel. Keep it wet. Oh, that little thing popped out. I had a little problem last week with my wheel wibbling around on me. So I zip tied it. down a little bit so it wouldn't bounce as bad. That way I can push on it a little bit harder. Whoa, too much. Too much pressure. I can't handle the pressure. Since this is a straight piece, I'm just going to work sections of it at a time. I just go up and down and then roll. Sure, you guys always wear uh, eye protection as well. If all possible, go with the grain of the material. It will definitely help you out. There's a light over here. I'll rub this one section down so you guys can see it. That way you guys will see just, you know, what it does and what it looks like. Oops. I mean, it's already pretty much polished. Just that one little section. Kind of hard to do here. Ah, just fresh polish all over it. There, I'll just do this one little section. That way you guys can see it. See, it's already done, nice and shiny. All the way through there. But, we're gonna keep it moist let that polish work in. I know airspeed, keep it moist. I know what you're thinking, dude. Alrighty. We'll work on the corners here. So beautiful. I'm going to tag the uh, the ends real quick so I don't forget. It's going to be so much easier. Yeah. 
This is gonna be one kick butt gun, dude. Oh yeah. Like a glove. This is gonna be so badass. Like I said, guys, this is not gonna be no trailer queen. You know, or a gun cabinet queen, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna take this weapon out, dude, and we are going to be shooting it. Oh. Big shout out again to HM Defense. I mean, these guys down there, dude, they rock. Alright, we got that section. Let's go to the next one. You can pick up your basic supplies at like your local hardware store. I mean, I went, I got two other grinders, but I use them for different things. Um, this grinder here, I got at Lowe's, like $44, $45, or something like that. And then I bought the buffing wheel pack. That was like 20 bucks. I can't remember how much the compound was. I think $12 or something like that. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's loop that one back down. Put that one down. Alright, we're going to the bottom. Ooh, that's still dry. Say once we get this all done and get it polished up, and then we get some of the engraving done, I'm going to um, highlight the engravings in another color. It's going to be bad, dude. It is going to be bad. done so far. I'm at the halfway mark now. Well, it was kind of a boring live stream, guys. I apologize, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, if you had any questions or whatever, I could, you know, read them out, answer any questions you guys got, like polishing or whatever. 
Some of you guys never got to see, you know, exactly what I do in real life. Wow. This is my shop. I've done a bunch of different stuff out here. And working and building stuff. My next project. I've got a, uh, an old air tank over there. It's uh, four and a half foot high, tall. It's this high, and it's two and a half foot in diameter. And with that, a guy was going to throw it away, and I was like, oh, can I have it? He's like, well, yeah, go ahead, dude, get it out of here. I'm, I'm just going to throw it away. So I ended up getting it, and I bought an old John Deere tractor. It's sitting over there in the corner over there. It's got a little bit of, the motor runs, but it's got an electrical issue. I'm going to take it and cut and stretch the frame on it. And I'm going to put that tank between the motor and the nose. And I'm going to make a drivable barbecue pit or a barbecue grill. And it's big enough that you can put a full size hog in it. And my intentions on it is to make it and sell it and make some money. Don't like going cross. I wanted to stay with the grain, but I'm going to make a great big barbecue pit out of it, and it's going to be kick butt. All right, well, we're down about our last little drop. polish here so let's move on that was that one open was that one? trying to get polish everywhere but uh, I'm going to make a huge uh, barbecue driving barbecue pit out of it And then sell it and make some money. I figured between the John Deere tractor and making the pit, or making the barbecue part of it, and everything, I could probably get ten, twelve thousand dollars out of it easily. Barbecue pits are big money. Oh yeah, it's turning black. Get this back side down over here. I'll make a kick butt barbecue. Like I said, it's big enough. It'll handle a 300 pound hog and it easily. It's going to be my winter project. Don't like going across the drain, but didn't have a choice there.
but it'll have uh, hydraulic doors on it and everything. It's going to be totally kick butt. Captain ain't here yet. Baby's okay, gonna show up. Man, it dried out quick. Try not to always overheat the metal. I mean, let it get warm, let it get hot. But don't. Don't let the metal get hot on you. It'll get comfortable. Back is killing. We get this all done. Get up all the polishing done on it. I gotta start looking for designs on what we want to do. Once we get the designs done on there, man. Badass. You watch, Captain will show up after all the hard work's been done. Wow, I can feel that tugging. Man, I'm back killing me. I didn't take any Tylenol. Take it right to the tip top. Yeah, let it soak in. You guys can see, it's like turning real black. In there, just rubbing that material down. show you guys you guys can see it's really turning black but it's coming along really well but that's my secret to uh, to polishing lube 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 keep it lube let that polish soak into that material Let the polish work for you. Don't let it work you. Get that top rail done. Been watching a lot of videos been popping up on my feed lately about knife making and knife builders. Been watching a lot of videos on there how to make knives and tempering and all that stuff. Very fascinating. It's almost a lost art. It's 
not, you know, people don't go to school to sharpen knives anymore or to make knives. Just like making these things right here, you know, you got to go be a machinist and learn how to run the machines and the programs. Because everything's computerized now. Oh, oh the back's killing me. Get this backside on this one. I didn't really do it as well. Top rail, and then we'll wipe it down and see how it turned out. There we go. Well, I did get it a little warm on that one, it definitely got hot on me. But when you keep it lubed up like this, also the, the parts in there that's dried. It'll break it back down, turn it back into a liquid or a slime, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that way it doesn't pop up on you, fold up on you. It's, it's uh, Kool-Aid time. Break time. I gotta get me some Kool-Aid. What's up, everybody? Uh, hashtag Gaming Ninja. What's up, brother? Black Widow. How you doing, brother? Uh, Micro Drooper B. What was that? Uh, Rip Dog. Tyvon, you still play? Oh, I already read that comment. By the way, I appreciate everybody sharing out the live stream today, guys. Let me grab a cup of Kool-Aid here real quick. And then I'll do that top rail. And then I'll go back in and try to catch up on some of this other stuff. Um, not only that, I've got to pop my case here and see um, how fast I can run this drill press. I'm not sure, but I definitely need a uh, another speed on it. So I think what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll up the speed on that drill press. And then we'll put the other little buffing wheel in and that'll allow me to get in there and uh, do some of the close corners. Uh. All right. Let's get this top part done. Get this last little section, man. And we'll have her thick. Always go slow, take your time. Don't ever rush it. Let the material work, let the machine work. And all you gotta do is just guide it. Let it work for you.
know your tools, know how they work, how they operate. Move it back up, some of them threads in there kind of dry. And now we got to go on the inside of the thread. It's actually a beautiful night up here in Ohio, or down here in Ohio, depending on where you're from. Just let that stuff work. Put that polish dig in. Unless we're trying to keep a clean shirt. And then, you know, a lot of guys that use the buffing wheel, also small parts like this, your hands are abrasive, but sometimes it can give you just a little bit of extra shine when you're working it, because your hands are rubbing that material in, rubbing it down. All right, let's go in between now. Concrete, man, is like the worst thing ever. The part right here is the most time consuming, is getting in each individual, like, little crease. to stop and get a 10 inch wheel or a 12 inch wheel. buff wheel just cutting right into it so I take the pad flip it over that way I can work the other side whoo almost dropped it Let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite handgun is. I just watched a uh, Discovery video the other day, and it was about the Magnum 44. 
and the how the magnum round actually came around or came about and then uh, how uh, Clint Eastwood had made the magnum 44 pistol famous it was pretty interesting And how all that, how all that came around. I thought it was pretty neat. Work it, work it, work it, bro. Hide. Man, this thing is just gonna be gorgeous. One of a kind, and it's all mine. I am working this little motor now. That thing's got to be blazing hot. Oh, yeah. I'll do one more quick overview of it. Oh, that's Cherry. Let me answer that. Hello? Oh, uh, we're live streaming. Woo, yay. Say hi, everybody, on YouTube. Uh, are you on your way home? Yeah, I'm on my way home. Well, that was fast. Oh, well, I guess so. Yeah. So. Uh, George says he's still coming over a little bit. He's got to get everything unloaded at the house, so. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, you want to stop and get a pizza or something? Uh, are you Are you in South Zanesville? Yeah. Hey, uh, stop no. stop over by KFC and get us some mashed potatoes, gravy, and chicken. No. Ah. Oh. No, no That's all right. Call and order. I got steak and corn on the cob. How about that? Oh, we're having steak on corn on the cob tonight, guys. Yummy. Yay. All right, honey. I'll see you in a bit. All right, baby. I love you. Kissy hugs. All right, honey. Love you. Bye. All right. Love you. Bye. 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 Jerry Wine's gonna hook me up with steak and corn on the cock. Yummy! So I get this one little once over again, guys. I'll wipe it down and I'll show you. what it looks like all nice and done and polished I'm just gonna go right to the end and then I'll flip it over We gonna have steak and corn tonight. Yummy.
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, you can taste it now. She's been getting this squeak corn. I don't know where she's been getting it from, but man, it is some of the sweetest, just gobble, 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 gobble corn ever. I mean, it's excellent stuff. Almost done here, guys. We're going over each individual section. Now, once we get um, everything done and all the polishing's done, all the engraving's done, and we get everything back, we're going to go down to HM Defense. They've invited me to come back down, and we're going to assemble this rifle right there in their uh, manufacturing spots. on location and we'll, we're going to do a video on that or live stream not sure yet depends if I can get service down there or not or if they'll let me uh, get up on their internet and then uh, I'll have Tony and Clay and then Clayton um, build the rifle right there on location and you guys will see the final product almost done get just the end sections here Customized by me, done by me, for me, just for me. It's going to be awesome. There it is, guys. That will conclude the polishing of this item. Let me get cleaned up, get my hands cleaned up here. And then uh, I will wipe it down and let you guys see it. I mean, oh my God, look how thick this stuff is. I mean, I got aluminum, pot, aluminum everywhere. Oh man, this thing is gonna be so awesome. Oh, my stomach's growling now. She said steak and corn. I'm ready. I'm hungry. Oh. Now I'm gonna grab another little quick towel here. I'm gonna do it once again here. Get off all the extra residual. So Jerry said that uh oh Captain Obvious is still gonna come over so he'll be able to see this awesome 
epic rifle from HM Defense. You know, it'd be cool if gun manufacturers, I don't know, I'm just going to say all gun manufacturers would actually offer a polished weapon, but it would drive up the price of the, rep the weapon so much. I mean, it'd be happy. It would have to be like what I'm doing. You'd have to get it. You'd have to do it. Because if you went and had something like this polished at a uh, at a shop or somewhere, you're looking at two, three thousand dollars just to have this polished. It's not cheap, but it looks so kick ass. Ah, uh, cool it time. All right, we'll grab a couple of my old hand rags here, and then we'll clean it up with a uh, buffing pad wheel. Oh, man. It's going to wipe off all the excess. Dude. I mean, look, it just turned the, the rag black. Get some of the holes. Like I said, it, you can see where it's soaked into the material. Oh, yeah. Glorious. you imagine if the guys a hundred years ago could have even imagined to what we're doing with weapons today? I mean, it would be mind-blowing if they could travel in time and then come to today and see what we're actually doing. Oh, I think I just broke a nail. Oh no! Got to get everything out of all the little holes. All right, we're gonna cancel that one. They could just see today. And the, the technology of today of building these and what all man has accomplished. It would be amazing. Oh, I did miss them sections, didn't I? I thought I went both ways on the keys, but apparently not. Oh, I didn't. Well, we're going to have to go over the keys a couple more times. Wow. I didn't do a real good job on those. I got a gup top part of it's looking good. Get all the big gunk out of them. Yeah, you can see where I went one way, didn't go the other way with it. I'll have to redo the top part here. Still. You can ever so slightly still see 
the tooling marks, which I want. I will still I want to be able to see a little bit of the tooling marks, the craftsmanship in it. All right, let's switch over to another one here. This thing is just oh. Kick but by the way once again guys uh, thanks for coming hanging out watching the live stream today guys I know it's not too exciting but we're out here at the shop I get to enjoy and have some time in my shop and work keep my sanity you know I've always been good working with my hands building and creating things working on things I just always love doing that kind of stuff. I work in the drive truck all week, and then I'll come home, and, you know, I like my video games. I love playing GTA V and Call of Duty. Pretty awesome. Uh, get to meet people from around the world, but once in a while, man, I just like to get out in my shop and do a little bit of work, have a little bit of a project, keep my mind on things, keep my focus, keep up on my techniques, keep up on my knowledge. Once in a while I forget some stuff, but gotta go back and look it up. But it's always nice to get out and work. All right. Yeah, you can definitely see where I I only went one way on the wheel and didn't go both. Oh, man. It's all right. We'll go back in and get her done. All right. Got a lot of stuff in the holes. We'll have to go back in and clean the holes out. Oh, you know what? I've got an air gun here. Hold on. Let's fire up the compressor. There we go. Blow all the, blow all the junk out of the... Good little rug down here. Endless supply of rugs. Oh, yeah. Oh. Looks gorgeous. Got some nicks in it. These look like tooling marks. Definitely some nicks in it. I think those are the tooling from the vices. Endless supply of rags. Somebody's here. Up, oh, Jerry's home. So you can hear Bandit barking. He usually goes ape crap. Mommy's home, mommy's home, mommy's home. Oh, it's almost our dinner time, too. Oh, yes. And you guys can see the rag, and that's just wiping the... There it goes. You can hear him now. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. 
I want my mommy. He's definitely a little mama's boy. She spoils him so bad. Alright, let me get the ends wiped down, guys. And I'll show you what we got here. Now, I will soak it down with some Windex. And, uh... Get the insides clean. Right, let's try this side here. All right, guys, here we go. And there we go. Mirror shine. Maybe we can do it this way. I'm trying to look at the camera and see you guys at the same time. What do you guys think of that? I mean, it's gorgeous. Let's see. You can see the stuff on the other side of the garage through the shine. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So, and then... Here's the other one, as you guys can see. Nicely, nicely done. Oh, a lot of work. My back is killing me. But Cherry's got home now, so I know I'll be having steak and corn real soon. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll have to cut that other top rail again. So, well, guys, that concludes all the polishing stuff. I am going to go back in, redo this part right here. And I've got a couple little sections that I've got to do um, on the upper and the lower to uh, finish up the details. But uh, this is what we're working with, guys. So. There we go. Then you guys will see everything. And it's that way on both sides. So, yeah. I'm just going to finish up some of the other little stuff. And then uh, I'm going to go up and grab some dinner. So, thanks everybody for coming hanging out watching the, uh, the third part here. Um, I'm going to try to shoot a little bit of a video when we go up and talk to CNS Engraving. And go through exactly what all we're going to do here. And then uh, I'll be posting pictures on Twitter. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. It's at the time show. Link's all down in the description below. Check out HM Defense. If you guys are wanting one of these awesome weapons, go up there to the website. Click on dealer. Find a dealer next to you. Go there. Call them. They've got all the names, addresses, and phone numbers to all the dealers that they deal with. So, and if your local gun store don't carry them, go through them and buy one. Um, this, we shot hers, and all seriousness, it's one of the best shooting 308s that I've ever shot, and I love it. So, but thanks everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, retweet, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Uh, by the way, tonight, 9.30, open lobbies. We'll go live at 10 for GTA 5. So, thanks everybody. And we'll see you guys later. Da, 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 da.